Good afternoon, staff and students, and um, all members of the Brebeuf community. I'm Brother Henry, former teacher of Brebeuf and former chaplain, and I would like to say a few words to you on Blessed Edmund Rice. Tuesday, May the 5th, is the Feast of Blessed Edmund Rice. He is the founder of two congregations of teaching brothers in the church, the Presentation Brothers, of which I am a member, and the Christian Brothers. Many of you know something about Edmund Rice, who he was and what he did. Others may not. Edmund Rice was born in Ireland in the year 1762 and died in 1844. That is, he was 82 years of age when he died. Edmund Rice had a wonderful life, an extraordinary man. He was born into a wealthy family, a very Catholic family. There was a great spirit of faith among them. And that's the type of atmosphere in which he was raised. Brother Rice got a little Catholic education. He was educated in part by friars, the Augustinian friars, who had a monastery nearby. Once finished, he began to work with his wealthy uncle in the city of Waterford in the south of Ireland. He was a merchant and he took on Edmund as an apprentice. Edmund apparently was a wonderful apprentice. He learned many skills that he put to use in his later life. In the meantime, he lived as a young man, happy, playing sports, games, involved with projects, dealt the poor especially. He met his future wife, they got married, and led a very happy married life. So Edmund Rice was very pleased with life. He was happily married, he had good business, and life was great. Unfortunately, he met great, with great tragedy, the sudden and unexpected death of his wife. That changed the future all plans for his own self. What would he do? What was the purpose of life, the meaning of life? He was a wise and shrewd uh, businessman, and he consulted with people as to what he should do. He thought of working strictly for the poor, he thought he might go to Europe and enter a monastic congregation over there. He discussed things with the bishop, the local bishop. At that time, Catholic schools for boys were not permitted. And the bishop invited him to do something about Catholic education for boys. He gathered around him, some young people. He invited young men to come and help him to teach. And he began a school. That nucleus of young men formed the future, the foundation of two future congregations in the church, Presentation Brothers and the Christian Brothers.
his uncle had uh, transferred to him his bishop, his uh, um, business, and Edmund used some of that money to feed the school children, to make clothing, suits for them, and then he thought of perhaps farming that religious congregation. He did so, and schools began to spring up in parts of Ireland, and finally his own end came in 1844. Sometime afterwards, the church set up a mission to examine the life of Edmund Rice. That became known as the Presentation Brothers Congregation. The commission examined his life and found that he had practiced virtue, especially that of charity, to a heroic level. And he was given the title, the honor, of being called Venerable Brother Rice. Later on, another commission continued the work of researching his life. That was in the jurisdiction of the Archbishop of Dublin, Bishop McQuaid, and the commission found that he was an extraordinary Catholic, an extraordinary religious man. It was, the cause was brought to Rome, and there again it was examined and found that he was a candidate worthy of the application. The findings of that commission reached Pope John Paul II. Pope examined it, approved it, and on Sunday, October the 6th, 1996, Pope John Paul celebrated Mass in St. Peter's Square in Rome, which was packed with pilgrims from all over the world. And during the Mass, in his homily, the Pope pronounced Brother Edmund Ignatius Rice as blessed. So today we call him Blessed Edmund Rice. Work and research on his life is ongoing. One day, please God, he will be raised to the altars of the church. We pray that Blessed Edmund Rice will pray, will take care of us all, especially at this time, to pray for all those that he may intercede for all those who died from the virus, and also those who died in the tragic shooting in Nova Scotia. May they all rest in peace. Amen.